climbing the hills or mountains, running or swimming. All these activities would have been done by you. What do you feel when you indulge in all these activities? We can probably live without food, water or sleep for some time. But can we live without breathing? Respiration or breathing is an important process. It is necessary for our survival. In this video, you will learn about the process of breathing. Let us take you to a village in the mountainous regions of Himachal Pradesh, where Suman and Munna live. Didi, you know, today when I went to Ramu Chacha's office, I saw some travellers there and they looked very worried. Why? What happened? Didi, you know that some travellers had come to our village and they were preparing to climb that small range and Ramu Chacha was organising everything for them. Do you remember? Yes, I remember now. This was three days ago. Didi, looks like one of the boys has fallen ill and they came to seek help from Ramu Chacha. Those people wanted to go back to their city. What do you think would have happened to that boy? It seems that he could not climb the small ranges. <laughs> you are right, Didi. Some people were saying that he was having trouble in breathing. Do you know, Munna, climbing the mountain or smaller ranges is not that easy. It takes a lot of hard work. Yes, Didi, the mountains are so high. You have rightly said, it is difficult to breathe there. Oxygen content decreases with height. It means that we get breathless while climbing mountains or high altitudes. Yes, you are right. Didi, when I run, walk fast or dance, I still gasp for breath. Children, we cannot live without breathing. Can you all tell how we breathe when we swim? Munna, come here. You have already read that all organisms are made up of very small units, which we call cells. Hey Munna! I am a cell. You know that I live in a human body and there are billions of such cells in the human body. You know all about me, isn't it? I play a role in all tasks like nutrition, transport, reproduction, etc. Didi, yes, I did read about cells. For the cells to function for conducting functions, like nutrition, reproduction, etc., energy is required. Where does this energy come from? You tell me, what do you do when you feel tired? I eat food, Didi. After eating food, I feel very energetic. You are right. When we eat food, we get energy. But Didi, how is this possible? What is the relationship between energy and food? Explain this process to me. Hey Munna, when we breathe in, what do we do? This cell has come again. When we breathe in, we are taking oxygen inside because there is oxygen in the air and we release carbon dioxide out of the body. Rightly said, this oxygen travels throughout our body and it reaches me. And here, oxygen breaks food and gives energy to the body. Hmm, I now understand how eating food brings energy to the body. Didi, is there any organism that breaks food without oxygen? Yes, yeast is an organism 
that can survive even in the absence of air and breaks food. This process is called anaerobic respiration. But this process leads to alcohol formation. Didi, I am getting a little tired. I feel my body needs energy. Let me eat something. <laughs> Let's go. Children, when people run, swim or do some other work, they feel tired. But they also feel hungry. Why does this happen? Munna, do you know that breathing rate varies under different circumstances? When we rest, the breathing rate is different. When walking, this rate is different. And when we run, this rate is higher. When I run, I feel very hungry. <laughs> there is a reason for this as well. When we run, then the breath increases and we need more oxygen. When more oxygen is used, food is divided more and more energy is used. I see. That is why we feel more hungry. Didi, thanks for explaining all this. Children, we have seen how oxygen breaks food and how it gives energy to human body. In the next video, we will see how we breathe. See you. Thank you.